We are back with some Icarus. So, as I had already said, well, I'm gonna try continue uh, continue to try to uh, empty out that red exotic tree, for which I do need my mounts. Question is, where is my mount? There you are. Oop. So, to make sure, or to try and make sure that the Extractor keeps running. Let's go and empty out the extractors. Um, both of them. Because why not? Well, at least the uh, modules are working, so that's good. First we go to the close one, then we go to the bug one. Decent amounts there. That also means that the other one, the bug one, is not full either. Alright, he. Yeah, I wish I fixed that buggy tree. Because then I could do a bit more messing around in my open world. Whoa. Completely empty? Yes, yes, yes. Please. Are you empty? And oh, there is still the red vapor coming out though. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another one scan here, but for this I do need to bring the scanner over here. Oh, please tell me it's finally empty. I would be so happy. So, let's bring this back, let's bring the scanner, let's do a scan.
Alright, managed to get up in one go. That's good. Because all too often I get stuck there. Okay, let's slowly go around, because I don't want my mod to get the guy's debuff. Okay, so you still haven't calcul oh, calculated it. Oh, there you go. Structural integrity proper. Well, not the entire base, isn't it? Apparently. Anyway, let's see how much did I actually bring? Forty seven. So there's twelve per and eleven in the last one. This one, maybe I'll uh, make some sticks to fill up the composter proper. So yeah, we're gonna do that scan. See what the results are gonna be. I have no idea at the moment how much time till the next meteor event. I really don't know. Could it be handy if there was a timer? Yeah, I don't know. Would it make much of a difference? Don't think so. getting there. We are getting there, almost. Put a mower in the little house. And then do a scan above the Cave. You go in the house, please. So you stay safe. Thank you very much. Hey, uh, there you go. And we go over here. Stop our 
radar. Uh, right back fighting a uh, lava brudling. <laughs> Big joining in the fight. Charlotte running. Oh, lava brudling is dead already, okay. Talking about lava brudling. There it is. There's a drag coming as well. Okay, get over there. Yeah, okay. Then go fight the lava brutling, please. As long as lava brutling doesn't go up. Okay, there's the right back coming. Boink. Bouncing off. Yeah, yeah, they're fighting. The lava brutling and the drag. Good. Let the, la the red back join the fight. Where's right there? Ah, interesting. Oh well, yeah, stone jaw. You gonna join the fight as well? Uh, okay, so there is indeed is still exotics in there. That's what I wanted to know. Well, if I go crouched, will they like? The aggro? Oh, aggroing they. Why aren't they attacking the lava brutling? Would be so fun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now they are. But since the extractor isn't running no more, it means I have to like pick up the thing and place it down in a hope, in hope that I can actually get it running again. Because as you can see, it's powered and everything, but it's not doing anything. running but not doing anything so it's again on the empty tree There we go. That's running again. Okay. Right. That means we too are gonna empty out the other exotics harvester and keep this one running for a bit. A mission rake? I think so, eh? Hoping the tree would be empty. Unfortunate it was not. Okay. Yeah. 
It would have been nice. Don't really need hunting because there's another way to fill the biofuel composter with meat. But yeah, I could go to the swamp and cut down a tree or two. But I'd rather do that when I have someone still around here to uh, run back and forth to the uh, volcanic biome. To empty out the bugged tree thingy. So, instead, we will just go down a couple of trees here. Slow physics and a sharp X. Well, that's how you manage to cut down the tree before it even reaches the ground. And all the wood comes down in one place. And my inventory is full. Oh well, I'm close to base anyway, so let's just grab ourselves a couple more inventory slots. to put the infected bark away so we can make epoxy out of it use some of that wood and turn into sticks plonk a whole bunch of sticks in the uh, biofuel composter Bark away like a so. That one can go there. Let's start by putting a couple hundred sticks in there, and let's make like a thousand more. I still have 200 sticks remaining, which I can... Oh, uh, <laughs> I should have put this one back in the base, in the exotic space. Sorry. Well, 
guys go back there. This one goes back on my back. This one goes back here. Let's put the wood in the cupboard. There you go. Let's put some cleaned exotics away. Three, 2.1k. Collecting quite some red exotics again. Let's see, can I do some more decoration in these rooms? Like, I don't know, put a rabbit somewhere on, on, on a dress or something, or a road. Eh. Eh, I could. So. Let's go make some of them then. Rabbits! Do I even have rabbits? I have pygmy lobs though. Oh, and I need uh, refined wood. So let's grab some of that. Pygmy lobs, give me two. Apparently, I just unlocked a pygmy lob bestiary level. Let's see, do I have a rabbit? I don't. Uh, swamp roads. Swarm bros as well. <coughs> okay, so let's go and put these up as decorations. And let's have a quick look at the pygmy lob bestiary. Prometheus pygmy lob is primarily swamp. Get okay, creature traits. Critical area ahead, they're passive and fast. Yeah, I kinda knew that already. And let's put the road trophy up here. This one, like here on the table. Here you go. Or shall I put it there? Yeah, I think that's nicer, huh? So you can look at it when you sit on the couch. There you go. 18.44 in game time, so let's wash hands, oh don't forget to eat, wash hands, sleep, put this one away there, I have to bring the uh, electricity tool back to the exotics base, so let's go do that, deactivate, Yeah, 
Yeah, and as soon as we, with our Thursday characters, <coughs> have done the next operation, I can do the same operation here on the open world as well. At least something to do, huh? And also do the uh, the other two non-storyline operations, which branch off from that one. I can do those on this open world as well. Talking about swamp, swamp is the biome where the uh, platinum is at. And I, well, I'm not running running short on platinum ore, but it is one of the ores I have the least amount of. So maybe a visit to the swamp is in order. Trying to find a bunch of platinum, mining with the miasmic pickaxe. So get six times the ore. But like I said, I don't want to stay away from the, especially the bugged tree for too long. Did only show these two, so. this away there you go then we empty out this one come here press your hitbox that annoying hitbox on those things 27 the other one should have like uh, about the same amount as well, Ash and Drake, ignoring, now running back. Walk over the stone so don't have to go around. total three times fourteen one times thirteen ah. stop just too late run uh. I wonder it's been a while since I've been in the cave over there actually over there should I go check it out yeah why not why not I have to like make a proper opening in there to allow entrance for the mower as well. Oh man, this food is definitely very good for mining. This new food, new dried stuff. Look at that. Oh, 
Okay, let's see. Can you get in? Yes, you can. Lovely. Right. Get the shield off the back. Good. Let's see, is there any platinum here? Any change? Chance? Yeah. Grab you back, drop these, for I don't need them. Want my arrow back, don't need those. Arrow back, don't need a vestige. Although you can like kind of use it to uh, sort of partially light up your base. Since the uh, cave worm... Yay! Purple exotics. I was kind of hoping for it. Didn't want to say it out loud. But the uh, trophies do light up in the dark. See, 16 exotics and 16 noxious crust. Which means... 6 times 16 exotics. Oh, there you are. So 96 exotics. Nice. Is iron? Iron. Don't need iron. Don't see no platinum there. So, nice. Proper exotics. So, last week or so, I quickly hopped in with my farmer character. I was like, I wanted to do something with him. Now I realize. I have some exotic plant seeds, which I wanted to plant with a character, and I kind of totally forgot. Oh well, so be it. It's not like I'm short on red exotics, eh? Oh, don't jump over. Thank you. Uh, 14, 40, 14, 13 Or not Yes I'm not wearing my shield. Ah. Anyway, so checking the purple exotic stuff in here. 
This one goes on the back. Good. I had it on. Let's see. Titanium ore. I have a decent amount. I'm like full on titanium ore. Platinum ore, though. Only. About. Well, uh, 1750, so 1763. It's like 214 uh, ingots. Oh, well, let's just put this in the cupboard, huh? There you go. Oh, yeah. I'll bring this to smelt. This one to smelt the remaining uh, three platinum ingots. <laughs> yeah, I need more trophies here. This one might do with a, a snow rabbit trophy here. Uh, that's about it. Or maybe I'll just put it on here. Do I have snow wolf vestige? If so, I'll make snow wolf trophy for uh, in the uh, Rutilis room. I have snow leopard. Oh, and I have Snow Wolf. Okay. No Snow Rabbit, though. <laughs> I like not worth killing. Now you know, too small, too easy, too uh, not dangerous enough, etc. This one I can put here. I'll put it above this window here so it can be seen in this sitting area and not here because it's like almost above the couch there. I don't want that. That's about it for trophies, I reckon. I can put a couple more signs in, like the source of our riches. Dangers of uh, the Arctic. Dangers of the desert. Stuff like that. Yeah, might be, might be nice. Let's do it. Couple of Art Deco signs. Need. Uh, more gold ingots. Nothing easier than that. These I can use to make more wires here, both copper and gold. Organic resin, 
So it's a good thing I brought uh, wood. So I can make a couple hundred more organic resin here. Since they say riches are evil, etc., I'll put a slightly different text on this one. There you go. So we we'll call this and then here. Oh, maybe I should pull those down a bit. They're a tad high to properly see, huh? But then again, I kind of do need them to be that high. Otherwise, they won't fit there. So, yeah. Oh well. Hey, Tony. You're up for yet another run. Well, whether or not you're up for it, we are going. Hey. Maybe I should uh, kill a couple of rabbits in a uh, volcanic biome. Oh, there's a weather event going on here as well. Volcanic heat wave of all things. Okay, wow. Well, that means we're gonna uh, run for a day. Uh, Exotic space, and we're gonna wait out the heat wave over there. After all, it does have an echo, so empty out of R3 and then head for the exotic base it is already heating up there so better not wasting time Thirty there. Oh, you already getting exposure, huh? And since I <coughs> already gotten any storm exposure before I mounted the MOA, it means I am gonna take damage. If exposure gets too high, but that's fine though, because we were almost there already anyway, so. Going 
inside, turn on the AC. And we should be fine again. You should be fine. I'll quickly hop over to the extractor and I'll uh, empty it out. Thirty-four from here. Okay, now we can await the heat wave. Yeah, can't do a whole lot here. At least the uh, extractors could still uh, keep run. So there's a dot. Dark night part is over anyway, so let's see, let's quickly consume some food. a tick or half tick and then I go uh, empty out bug tree and the uh, near tree near my tree and then run back to base storm is far enough gone that exposure shouldn't get too bad no more is already going down oh, this one is empty you can see the red glow is gone it still has a bit of a purple glow but the red glow is gone Best way to uh, see that the tree is empty. Uh, come on, I have to highlight it proper if I want to pick it up. That means we're gonna have to have to, but we are gonna go uh, back to uh, exotic space. We're gonna check this in the chest. I'll leave the wires for now. Don't really care about them. Clean them up the next time. 
when there is another uh, uh, exotic vein in the tree. So no problem there. I have never seen or heard about those abandoned wires causing any problems. So. So you went halfway down already, well then you could just welcome all the way here. Something is attacking the lava brutling downstairs by the sound of it. Yeah, pig. Hey? Lava brutling killed her. Slava Brutling killed the, uh, what was it, drug or something? Why? Oh, okay. Still aggro? What else is aggro then? Nothing? Okay. Finish reloading this one. Since I killed him, I'm gonna. Skin him as well. Why not, huh? Could as well. There we go. I'm gonna keep the prime meat as prime meat this time, plant. And with the uh now with the smoker and all the new recipes, there's a uh, new use for uh, prime meats. So. The normal meats though, I'll just uh, check in the biofuel composter. Uh, the dried normal meat, the dried steaks, are better than the cooked ones. I give you that, but <laughs> the other dried food is better than that uh, better than those dried steaks so. I like the addition of the uh, of the tier 3 dryer now in the patch notes at some point they were also talking about the tier 4 one I wonder what that's gonna be um, do I have the yes I do good I wonder what the difference with the tier 4 one is gonna be then Yeah, sorry. I said I am under the rabbit vested, so. Like, the tier 4 dryer gonna work on electricity instead of charcoal, but then how is that gonna work? You won't be able to do smoke stuff in, in a tier 4 one, I reckon. Because if you dry it with electricity, then where's the smoke coming from to make something like smoked jerky and stuff, right? The charcoal you uh, burn, and that smoke is being used to make the smoked stuff. But how's it gonna work with a tier 4? Just some random questions popping into my head. What is that? Rabbit? Nice pygmy lob. Don't need a pygmy lob. Nor a swamp road for that matter. I want a specific to rabbit.
Grab a trophy. I'm gonna put a full hundred in there. Raw meat. I see steak going. Why did someone. Why are they smoking the raw steak? It's no use. Okay, and then I'll just turn the steaks into meat and I'll check them in the bifo compass as well. And like I said, it's, it's no use uh, smoking the steaks in the freezer, they don't go bad anyway. Now they can't stack. I need to make some tree sap. For the bifle composter. Trophy in. Um, yeah. Come on. And then turn it around. There you go. One. Don't you want to work? There you go. Some more integrations. Grab the tree sap. Check it in there. So you can fill up those. Uh, we've got those uh, bifold cans proper. Let's see how much faster the mode is going to be now. There's a massive stomach bar <laughs> now, that's for sure. Alright, see how. And here we go again. 
again. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Definitely way more stamina. Possibly fastest storm region as well. Let's go to town here. Difference, you know. Yeah, I can about run from main base to exotic base in one go. So close. Actually, it's not true. It's like from the exit of the cave, of the uh, volcanic cave. Still, it's a long way to run. Keep some stuff in reserve, just in case I need to run for one uh, for some reason or the other. food still worth it yeah yeah yeah, so yeah with our Prometheus characters Started to tame some animals as well. Why? Well, you can see how much time you save by uh, having a proper fast mower. Although, truth be said, on those characters we don't have no uh, pheromone modules because they are like uh, new characters again, huh? Yeah, with uh, close to no. Uh, 
close to no space gear. Just the very, very basics. But still, having mines is never a bad idea. Three eighty three on purple. You know what? Let's empty out the uh, water wheels again. Haven't done that for a while. Okay, I should not have <laughs> grabbed the sponges. That's on me. Ten. I wish I could snap those water wheels somehow. One of the reasons <laughs> I hit them under the ground is because you can't snap them and then my OCD goes haywire uh, because they're not perfectly aligned and stuff, so yeah. Well, that's fine. In game time, 1859er. So, wash hands, go to sleep. And guess what we're gonna do? Yes, we're going for another run. Sort of volcanic and biome. Still have your food buff active, good. I wish you could see a timer for the mount food buff. Because if you feed them again, the timer does not reset. So yeah. You basically best wait till the buff is over expired before feeding it again. But yeah, you have no idea how long that might be. I wonder how long is it gonna be before the uh, mount tenants become a thing. Because I'm so gonna level a mower up in speed, if at all possible, on speed and stun. Health? Nah, if you can outrun predators, you don't need the health. Obviously, you'll have to be careful uh, when you're 
right in your mind that you don't send it off a cliff and such. But other than that, mine doesn't really need that much health. Shammy, not broodling. And there's another rabbit vestige. Good. Foxholes as well. Coal, why not? So my food bus did expire and I'm carrying a bunch of noxious crust on me. Question is, can I still out heal it? Another rapid vestige, they do stack so I can, uh, should be able to take it all. A, a rabbit trophy for the rustic room, basically. Silence. Still out heal. Okay, good. That's good. No one could argue. Then eat. But I'm like, nah, I don't know if I have the empty slot for the jar, and I don't. I want all my. <laughs> 
and I want all my food buffs expire at the same time. This can go there. Let's see. Oxide, Moxie's crushed iron. Silver and coal. There's all the Moxie's crushed. Silver can go here or not. I don't know what to do with the silver anymore. Use it to make uh, epoxy. I have tons of infected bark. Make gunpowder. How about that? So yeah. Like I said, what to do with uh, <laughs> sulfur? Right, you have both cupboards here. Full of sulfur. Ah, this one's not full yet. So, okay, okay. I could have put it in there. True. But it's not like I <laughs> need it or something. Seven remaining, huh? I'll make some more trees up then out of these sticks. Of course, why not? How's my well, still a sixty one flint arrow, so that's fine as well. Some of this stuff away. Again. No, I can actually eat. <laughs> so I should not forget to do so. Twenty-five forty over two and a half k. All right, exotics already again. I should prepare my food looking. Yeah, good well. Consume that to make place, you know, like one more food space for why not? I'm gonna fill up with ice anyway, so... Um, let's have a look at the food and water troughs in the pen. 
Haven't done that yet today. Seven and a half, fifteen, fifteen, and ten. You know what? Let's just quickly fill them all up. Okay, that's done. Food wise, how are you doing? Plenty. 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 And plenty. Okay. You have tea, more tea. Seeds in the cupboards. The tea itself goes into the smoker. Very boring and go for another volcanic run as soon as I find my mower that is. Are you there again? Why? You aren't set to follow, are you now? No, you are not. So no idea what you're doing. Oh. Modules. to eat something okay that's fine but since you've eaten now we can go don't have the massive stum seminar bar no more so your food buff has expired was to be expected already was a tad uh, surprised it lasted that long it sound or is it yak it's fine though so long as I don't attack my mind the difference no animal food and already have to walk in order to <laughs> regen stum where with the animal food we're still being running by now so yeah quite a big difference there
Okay. So walking is in order again. again. Not every cave there. Some caves uh, mines do make sound, some caves they don't. I have no idea, but the common denominator is between the caves that don't. Right, maybe it has to do something, it has something to do with the size of the cave or something? I don't know. seen before, especially uh, tunnels between biomes, there's like no sound, no moan sound. Okay, <laughs> block myself out. Interesting. Oh well. Let's see, 25, 4 times 6, and 1 extra. So this time, the last one is gonna get the extra one. Just to balance out a little bit. Done. Eh, for more solar panels. That can be easily arranged. Like a so for example. need to keep those torches. Okay. Sword. Place for another one. E. Right. So. We're getting resin. And epoxy. Craft a bunch more of that. I'll grab uh, an even 10, shall we? 
I think I'm gonna have to make more composites again. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it with gold though, not the platinum. So this one, two iron ore, one silica, one organic resin and one gold ore for uh, a composite. How many solar panels do I have by now? 17. And one already on the other side of the base, makes 18. Times 5k, 90k, so about half of what I'm producing right now, I think including the water wheels, but still. Ninety K power is nothing to sniff at. Too much about the sizzling and the drizzling. <laughs> Let's just hope Tana doesn't lose all his feathers. <laughs> I do like the fact that you actually see the sparks flying. I mean, it is called the scattered embers, but you actually see the sparks flying. I like that. For the immersion. So, uh, I don't see no damage numbers yet. So, the screen is already flashy red. That's the heavy breathing. Okay, I think I'm not finally starting to see damage numbers. Yeah, two. It's like almost nothing. Three, whatever. Two and a three, okay. See, full exposure. Hardly taken any damage. I mean, I only now that I'm starting to take damage. Ah, it'll be over soon enough. Ready, yeah. Not sure why it's minus 85 and if it's worse it's minus 70, yes, etc. So I don't know where that number or percentage number comes from.
bisschen Haare zu gestimmt die drop off. Das er ist over that distance. Wouldn't it be nice if the arrows would be affected by wind as well? Yeah, like being blown sideways so you can't aim proper no more, stuff like that. Gonna be tough to implement, eh? Again, a big boom. But it ain't no uh, meteor boom though. So I don't know what kind of boom it is. Maybe like a volcanic, uh, volcano same boom causing all these uh, embers? I don't know, maybe. Bam, storm is over. So time, time for us to go back home again. Twenty-four, six per. No idea how much I got from this load though. Especially not because it's like uh, I had to like take off the extractor and put it back down. So no idea how much I got this load. The second load. Again I do hope uh, I will be able to empty it out before the next meteor event. I empty it out fully. Will be so because the thing is if I now ignore that extractor it'll end up with like three loads or two and a half load in uh, in the one tree so in order to get exotics in another location it's gonna cost me uh, like two meter events at least. So it's gonna cost me six hours. This is true, say two in a bit, and I mine one, I can mine one in a bit. Will be one in two, no, okay, no, one meter event. Still three hours. And this time I don't really want to waste. Man, yeah, this is fun if playing solo. And there's no one else uh, to keep an eye on the extractor whilst I'm doing out doing something else. What you gonna do? stuff all the way that I'm actually gonna call it for today it's getting close to midnight again already closer and I do have to work in the morning so Twenty six seventy four. 
right and Three eighty three purple. Yeah, decent amount of coal there. I could make steel bloom. Up coal and iron ore, and I'll turn it into steel bloom next time if I don't forget it is. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna call it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed playing, so hey, there's that. Uh, thanks for being here, and I will see you folks around. <laughs>